Oh, okay. All right. Just tell me when I'm live, all right? Just let me know. Give me the thumbs up. No, you, wait. Wait till I'm live and then give me the thumbs up, all right? Wait, hold on. I'm live right now. It, wait a minute. What? Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome to week number five of our Erlanger Marathon Kids Fun Run Training Series. Woo! That's always going to be a mouthful, ladies and gentlemen. That being said, ladies and gentlemen, this week, week number five, we are halfway there. Whoa! Okay, I'm not gonna try to hit those notes. I'll leave those up to Bon Jovi if you know that song. Anyways, that being said, week five titled Easy Does It. Easy Does It. What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about our topic of the day and our challenge at the end of our video, and we're gonna jump right in with our workout, ladies and gentlemen. You see right here, I got a mat right here. We're on the ground, we got a different camera angle. All right, it's a little different today, all right? We're going to do a nice core workout, work on those abs because we want nice strong abs when we run because it helps with our posture and a lot of different things. So, ladies and gentlemen, what you need, if you don't have a mat, get yourself uh, maybe a towel, you can lay that down if you would like. Get yourself some water, but don't hold it like that, hold it like this. Set that to the side, and as always, get your handy dandy a workbook because we're going to need that in just a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to set that over there. All right, so first, what we're going to be doing, we are going to be doing something called feet overs. So you're actually going to use your water bottle in this one. Make sure it's closed because if it's not, you hit it, it spills over. It's not going to be good. It's going to get everywhere. It's going to make a mess, and people aren't going to be happy. All right, so be sure, water bottle. Sick, secure, I cannot talk, secure, there we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna sit on your bottom, hands are gonna be at your side, and your knees are gonna be up, and your heels are just gonna be on the floor, and all you're gonna do is you're just gonna go over tap, over tap, over tap, and every time you get over the water bottle, you're gonna tap your feet. And make sure you're clearing that water bottle, all right? So we're gonna do some feet overs. We're also gonna do some heel touches. What heel touches look like, we're gonna lay down on the ground, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna just bring our shoulders, just your shoulders off the ground. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our arms out and we're just gonna go back and forth, hitting our heels, engaging that core, all right? Really feeling that core burn, all right? And we're gonna do 30 of those. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do, I got my handy, uh, handy dandy timer right here. We're gonna do 30 seconds of planks. Now, you can do it one of two ways, all right? If you want to, you can do a push-up plank just like this. And we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Or if you would like, the plank that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on my forearms, make a fist, and do it like this. What's important when you're planking is you wanna make sure your back is straight all the way down to your heels. This isn't a plank, this isn't a plank, all right? So, we're gonna be planking at the end. And I know you guys are probably too young, but there used to be a fad where people would like go and plank on certain uh, like crazy things and they'd plank like this and take pictures. And it was a big thing back in, I don't even know, early 2000s, but hey, you know. So there we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do three sets. The feet overs, we are going to do 15 of those. And then what we're gonna do, heel touches, we're gonna do 30. And then we are going to do planks, and we're gonna do that for 30 seconds, ladies and gentlemen. So take a deep breath, have your bottle of water ready. Relax, it's gonna be easy. We're gonna get that core a going, all right? So, we're all ready. Hey, by the way, this jersey I'm wearing, CFC, for, got it from uh, Operation Get Active. They're awesome. Also, my board behind me, I had some neighbors decorated, uh, some kids, they did an awesome job. So shout out to them. So, that being said, let's get an awesome workout going. So, hands at the side, on my bottom, knees bent, heels on the ground. Let's do 15, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five more, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, nice, 15. See how I broke it up there a little bit? So I counted to 10 and then the last five I started back over. Sometimes that helps me go through an exercise. So I'm just not like, okay, 11 and 12. Helps it split it up, all right? Those mental things you do, you know? So, next, heel touches. I'm on my, I'm on my 
my back, my shoulders are slightly left, my hands are at my side, I'm gonna touch my heels, we're gonna do 30. All right, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, really engage that core. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Here we go, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Nice. Woo! If you feel your core burning a little bit, that means you're doing it right. Here we go. Next, we're going right into the plank. Remember, if you want to, feel free to do a push-up plank, or if you want to go down on your forearms like me, go right ahead. And I'm going to be honest, all right? Um, I'm not great at planks, all right? It's something I have to work on all the time. Uh, being 6'4", not the easiest thing for me to do. So, you might be able to do it and be like, man, 30 seconds was easy. If you want, hey, do it more. If you want to look up the crazy, the longest plank ever, I'm pretty sure it is a long, 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 long time. So, that being said, I got my timer. I'm gonna get into the plank. Ready, set, go. So, 30 seconds on the clock. I will give you kind of a countdown warning when we get to certain spots. And just breathe, focus on your breath. Sometimes, when I hold out for so long, I start shaking like this, I'm like, oh geez, hold it, hold it. Remember, try to keep that booty down. We got 10 seconds left. Where did where the time go? Man, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Very nice. So round one done, two more rounds to go. Get those abs engaged and on fire. So next, we're back to feet overs, all right? We're gonna go over, remember, touch our heels. And for stability, put your hands back just like this. Nice and easy. I'll give you a 10 more second break. And I want you thinking today, our uh, topic of the day is easy does it. So like I said, we're gonna talk about that at the end, but I want you to think, what, what does he mean by easy, easy does it? What, what, what's he talking about? So, you know, we'll talk about it. I don't wanna ruin it. I don't wanna ruin the surprise. Ready, feet overs, ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, guess what? 15, nice. All right, heel touches. Let's touch those heels, all right? On our back, all right? You might be sitting here like, oh my goodness, I can hardly feel in my abs, I can barely move. Oh my goodness. All right, take a couple breaths. You're good, breathe through it. You're gonna hear, you're gonna feel some tightness. All right, you might feel a little crampy. Try to breathe through it. You got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. Remember a couple of weeks ago we talked about breathing? Just breathe through it. You got it. You got it. Dig deep, dig deep. All right, here we go. Ready? 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, halfway, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Nice. That's 30 on the nose. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. Now, jumping back into planks. And then we'll be down, done with round number two. Ooh, gotta reset that clock. Here we go. Let's get in position. Ready, set, go. Woo! All right, feel it, all right, feel it, all right, feel it. Remember, coach, breathe through it, breathe through it. Yes, I know, I just said that. Woo! Man, the plank. What's even harder is if you have, I think I did a book challenge once where you had to put a book, see how many books you can balance on your back? It is a doozy. Keep it up. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Time. Very good. All right, we're on our last set, our third and final set. So take a breath. You got it. You're rocking it, ladies and gentlemen. Keep it UP up. Doing great. So remember. If you got to grab some water, take a sip, make sure to close that nice and tight. If not, water everywhere. People upset, mass chaos. We want to avoid that. Avoid that. All right, last round. Let's rock. Ready? 15 feet over. Ready, set, go. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go, five more. You got it, you got it. Come on, come on, come on. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. All right, right into heel touches. Lay down. Let's rock it. 30. Here we go. Hey, remember what I said? You're feeling it in your core right now, in your abs. Try to breathe, push through it. Here we go, here we go, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten more. Here we go. In Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Muy bien. Nice, very nice. Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into that plank. Let's plank it out. I always think every time I say plank, for some reason I'm thinking pirates and walking the plank and all that crazy stuff. Whew. Which I will say when I was a kid, favorite movie, Hook. Love it. Great, great movie. Pirates, Peter Pan, Lost Boys. Captain Hook, it's me, alligator, crazy, 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 crazy. All right, here we go, 30 seconds. You got it, ready, a set, a go. Hold it, engage that core, engage, feel that bird, here we go. Woo, yep, mentally tough. Keep it going, we got halfway there. Oh, nope, not singing again, not gonna sing again, not gonna sing again, here we go. Here we go. Almost five seconds. Here we go. One, five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Woo! Explosion. Man, that was crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, get yourself some water. Oh, there we go. Get yourself some water. Take a little sip. Mm. You guys just did an awesome ab workout for week number five. You guys are great. As you guys are getting some water, be sure to get that awesome uh, workbook right here. All right, flip it open to page seven and eight, and I'm going to tell you our topic of the day, and then I'm also going to tell you about our challenge. All right, and I'm going to just stay down here chilling. So if you want to, you want to chill with me, just sit, relax. I'll tell you what's up, topic of the day, and our challenge. All right, so week five, easy does it. Now, I told you to think about it as we were doing our workout. What, what's he mean by easy does it? And what I mean by that is you got to take it easy. More is not always better. And what I, what I mean by that is, say, for instance, you're new to running. And you go out and you're like, you know what? This week, I'm going to run 50 miles. All right? Is that going to make you an Olympian and the best runner in the world? No. It's probably going to get you hurt. So we don't want to do that, okay? So we don't want to overdo it. We want to take it easy. So with running, if I have a running schedule that I'm on, which I'm always on every week, I'm doing certain types of runs. I'm working on you know, my sprints, long distance runs. I do hill workouts, all these different things. If I go out for a run and at any point I'm feeling an unusual pain in my knee or in my feet, I slow it down and easy does it. I take it easy because the last thing I want to do is hurt myself or overdo it, okay? So when I say easy does it, if there's any point in your training where you're hurting and you know, oh, this doesn't feel right. Now, I'm not saying we talk about a cramp. A cramp, breathe through it. Try to keep running so you don't stop, all right? That's a little different. But if you feel a sharp pain in your knee or in your shin or in your feet, that is not normal and it's painful, maybe you gotta slow down and take it easy for a bit because you don't wanna hurt yourself, okay? And you don't wanna overtrain either. So it's awesome to get out and run as much as you can, but you wanna gradually do that, okay? So that's why in all of our training we've done, you've noticed the first week, if we go all the way back to week one, we did a lot of walking, okay? Because we didn't wanna just dive right into running. Okay, we want to gradually get into it so our legs get used to it. Okay, so if I went from not running at all to running 25 miles a week, my legs are really going to feel it. And the more I run, you know, it much more likely that I could hurt myself because my body is not used to it. So it's important to take it easy. And also, it's important to rest. 
Rest, 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 rest. R-E-S-T, rest, okay? So you wanna be sleeping enough at night. So after you do a hard workout, so the workouts, we've, the challenges we've done, and then the challenge we're gonna do this week, it's important to rest so your body can recover, okay? So if I wake up every morning and run 10 miles, and then at night I run 10 miles again, and I do that every day, it's gonna catch up to me. If I'm not getting enough sleep, and I, if I'm not letting my body recover, all right, easy does it. Take it, nice, take it nice and easy, okay? So I don't want you getting hurt. So that's the tip of the day. Easy does it, take it easy, listen to your body. Gradually, as we've been doing, gradually get into running. And over time, there's people that go and run 80 miles a week, but they gradually got into that to the point where their body is used to that, okay? And 80 miles, you're thinking, oh, that's a lot. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is a ton. So that being said, easy does it. Take it easy. No need to overtrain. Be sure to rest. So that is the topic of the day. Next, we're going to go over the challenge. So this is what I need you to do. Also open your workbook and go to week number five. What it says right here is easy three-minute run and then a moderate three minute run. So when I say easy three minute run, I want you to go out there and when you run for three minutes, I want you going pretty slow where you can run at this pace for a long, long time. I'm talking miles if possible, okay? And then moderate, make it a little faster where you can tell I'm breathing a little heavier, all right? My heart rate's going up. I'm sweating a little bit more, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this three times. You're gonna run at a slow pace for three minutes. You're gonna run at a moderate, a little faster pace for three minutes. Does that mean you're gonna sprint? No, just a little faster than what you were just doing, all right? And you're gonna do that three times, okay? So six times three is 18, ladies and gentlemen. I teach PE, but I know math as well. Anyways. So that being said, three minutes, essentially three minutes easy jog, three minutes uh, moderate, three minutes easy, three minutes moderate, three minutes easy, three minutes moderate, okay? And then you're gonna do that workout twice this week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you wanna do it another time, that's totally fine, that's up to you. But remember, there's no need to overtrain if, you're, if your legs aren't feeling it, if they're sore from one of the workouts, all right? And we talked about rest, I would recommend, as we've talked about before, if you're gonna do this, let's say you do one workout on a Tuesday, give your day, give your body, your legs a day to rest, and then do the other one on Thursday or Friday. Give your body plenty of time to rest and recuperate. So when you do that workout again, you're gonna be a baller, you're gonna be able to dominate it, you're gonna be at 100, 100%. So ladies and gentlemen, that's our topic of the day. You know, just easy does it, take it easy, rest, all that fun stuff. And lastly, that's our challenge. So ladies and gentlemen, week number five, halfway there. I will see you next week for week number six. And I'm getting up. I'll see you later. Peace.